All right, chain rule part B. Uh, same thing here. We're still going to use U substitution. I think that's the easiest way to do these. We just got a little bit more involved problems here. Let's go to the next page. Okay, so these are ones that we've seen before. We got e to the sine x. Pretty easy. I'm going to make u equal my sine x. Therefore, my du would just be cosine x. And so really, my y equals e to the u. This is a step I see you guys skipping a lot. You should make this statement because this helps clarify what you're going to do next. Now you know that your derivative, and in fact, actually, let's say your dy equals e to the u du. Let's go ahead and plug everything back in. dy equals e to the sine x, because that's what u is, times du, which is cosine x. And technically, I should have written a dx here. I apologize. And now, we can see I could divide dx by both sides. Cancels that out, and we get dy over dx. It's the proper way to do it there. Um, of course, you could just use, just do derivative of the inside. So you could just do the this. Derivative of y, of y would just be e to the sine x times the derivative of what's on the inside. But really, again, once you get in the habit of doing this. Let's go to the next page. We see some more fun problems. <clears throat> okay, so we got the natural log of x squared. Again, nothing you can't handle. Uh, the u is going to equal x squared. Therefore, du should be 2x, and then let's put a dx there. And that means, before I write dy, let's write rewrite, rewrite y, and it's ln of u. Therefore, dy is 1 over u du. And really, 1 over u du, this is the same thing. It's just du over u. So let's plug it in. du is 2x dx. Um, underneath the dx, I'm going to put the x squared, and let's rewrite this now. Well, actually, I'm just going to say, you guys can see I have the dy over here and the dx over here. So if I just divide both sides by dx, I get dy over dx equals. These guys cancel, and then also one of these x's can cancel here and here. So I just have 2 over x. Okay. I think that you guys can do the rest of this video on your own, and I'm just going to write the answers and have you guys check it. So go ahead, try this one, and then pa pause it, try it, and then unpause it when you're ready to check your work. Okay. Here's all my work. Here's what you should have had. Your answer should be negative 3e to the negative 3x. Let's go to the next one. Watch it again. Just try it on your own. This is should be easy ones. And then check your work when you're done. Okay, once again, here's all my work. You should have had 2 times the cosine of 2x. Probably be a good idea to have parentheses around that. Okay, one last problem. Give it a try on your own. Again, pause the video. And then unpause it when you're ready to check your work. Okay, so did all the work here. You got u cubed, u equals 3x minus 2, solved it all out. You end up with uh, dy over dx or y prime. I just wrote it this way this time. You could write it either way. Equals 9 times 3x minus 2 squared. All right, that should be a pretty quick video for you guys. That's just kind of review. The next one should be a little bit more challenging problem. So see you guys in the next video.